Hi, I'm Tom. From a discussion this morning on roadfoods.com in their hot dog forum, which is a forum I follow quite closely and have contributed to, uh, something came up about a buffalo wing uh, hot dog. So I asked, I said, is there such thing as like a, a buffalo dog? And I described how I would make one and, and someone responded back saying, well, if you've described a buffalo dog, then I guess there is a buffalo dog. So I did some looking around on the internet and I found a few of them in different parts of the country and they didn't really look very uh, appealing to me. One was basically a cooked hot dog that had blue cheese dressing and then it was drizzled with some buffalo wing sauce. So my idea was to deep fry a hot dog and then dip it in the same sauce that you would dip buffalo wings in, which is uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce and butter. And I have decided uh, to make that today. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the, the hot dogs. The fryer is up to 375, so let's get some dogs in there. Now, my idea is to have the deep fried dog with the sauce, and then you uh, sprinkle some crumbled blue cheese and top that with some minced celery. So let's see how that works out. Okay, my uh, hot dog of choice is a Nathan's all beef skinless. I thought about using the, the, the bun length or the bigger than the bun one, but I thought that uh, the buffalo sauce would uh, drip off the edges off of the bun, so I went with the standard you know, bun length. So let's put the dog in. Shouldn't take but a few minutes. Now, a lot of people who follow the forum are familiar with uh, deep fried hot dogs. That's a uh, big thing in New Jersey. And a lot of times uh, there's like several different uh, levels. Uh, the, the, the longest that you keep them in there, the, the hot dog will tend to like split open they call those rippers so I don't think I'm gonna go quite that far so let's see I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it I, I've, I've done this before and really really love deep fried hot dogs <clears throat> now before I put the dog in into the hot oil I actually dried it off really good with a paper towel because you don't want any splattering from any of the, the moisture you know, any hot dog juice that might be on there. Kind of like uh, deep frying some chicken wings. Okay, that's been two minutes. So let me bring it over and dip it. Okay, there's the sauce. Bring over the dog. Drain that a little bit, some of that fat. Just kind of roll it around in the sauce, kind of like you would with the, the chicken wings. Now I added a couple of grinds of fresh black pepper to my sauce because I, I I like black pepper in my uh, buffalo wing sauce. Let's get a bun. Try to get 
get as much sauce on there as we can. I don't think you want to let a lot of that sauce drip off of it. Now for our toppings. Let's go with some crumpled blue cheese. Not a lot, because this stuff is pretty potent. And then some minced celery. I figured that would give it a good crunch and have a lot more flavor because some of the recipes or some of the buffalo dogs that I found they they simply you know it's the blue cheese dressing with a drizzle of hot sauce and then they top it with some celery salt so I thought the actual celery, minced celery would be better kinda kinda like a minced onion you know okay that looks looks really good actually looks a lot more uh, appealing than some of the other dogs buffalo dogs that I saw online but the proof is in the tasting let's give her a taste It's really, really good. I think I got one more simple addition. After you uh, put the blue cheese and the uh, celery on, why not just add a little bit of extra hot sauce over the top of that? You got all that hot sauce, so might as well. I gotta say, that's really good. The, definitely the celery gives it a nice crunch. You can taste the blue cheese and adding that little bit of drizzle, extra drizzle of the hot sauce really does kick it up. I think this is a winner. This is Tom's Buffalo Dog. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. I think that's a winner. It's definitely a winner.